hi my name is Soph and welcome back to my channel um so here is the video that literally everyone has been waiting for um all about my first term at Cambridge and what it's been like so I'm going to start with the social side of things um so initially with the rule of six both inside and outside we were able to do way more things than I thought we'd be able to do so my first couple of weeks at uni socially were much better than I thought we were going to get. Um, although I definitely didn't meet as many people as I think I would have under normal circumstances. And I didn't meet as many people as I would have liked. Um, particularly coming from sick form where I had quite a big friendship group. To then being restricted to being only able to see six people at a time was quite an adjustment. Um, but, you know, everyone's in the same boat. Um, I did get to meet quite a few people via the college choir um, and a lot of them were second or third years and even a couple of people from other colleges which was quite nice because I wouldn't have met them through freshers events or um, supervisions or anything related to my subject um, so it was quite nice to meet them. Um, but then around week four, quiet was cancelled due to an increase in cases, both in college we had a couple of cases and across Cambridge there were starting to be a rise in cases. So basically the university kind of shut everything down. Um, so quiet was cancelled. So I've barely seen any of those people that I met since. Um, at my college there are 17 Viznatskis um, and I'd say I know about six of them. I've met a further five, but like they're not people that I would talk to regularly um, and the rest of them I've never seen um, for various reasons. Some have been like in isolation a lot because of because um, they're like international and then if a flatmate gets it then you have to isolate and all of that. So yeah, there are quite a few of them that I've not even met, um, which is a bit annoying. So initially, yeah, with the rule of sex, things were going quite well. Like you could meet people um but then two of my flatmates caught covid um this was around the end of week three or beginning of week four um and that meant that i had to isolate for two weeks which you know is in line with you know what you have to do but during this time i wasn't allowed to see anyone at all like not even the people that i lived with um, and I wasn't allowed to use the kitchen in my flat either. So I was literally stuck in my room um, with someone dropping food outside my door a couple of times a day. About two days before my isolation ended, college did change the rules so that if you were in isolation and you didn't have COVID and another one of your flatmates also didn't have COVID, then the two of you were allowed to see each other within like your flat and you were allowed to use your kitchen and they did put up some kind of exercise provision like I don't know I think somewhere in the college gardens there was like an open space where you were allowed to go and exercise but given it was like two days before my isolation ended I didn't really look into any of that um however whilst I was in isolation um the second national lockdown was announced so that when I got out of isolation, basically the only difference was that I was allowed to get my own food rather than someone having to bring it to my door. Um, which meant that basically seeing anyone outside of your household completely went out the window. Um, if you were caught in college mixing with anyone outside your household, you were instantly sent to the Dean. Um, and if you don't know what that means, Basically, the dean is like someone really senior in college that's like in charge of discipline and all of that. Um, and yeah, if you like break any major college rules, you get sent to them. Moving on to the academic side of things, I've had between three and five in person supervisions um, all term. Um, they were all within either physics or chemistry, so all of my maths and all of my material supervisions have been entirely online, although after about two to three weeks all of my supervisions became online anyway, um, because if any of us caught Covid 
then our supervisors would also have to isolate and then they wouldn't be able to go in the lab and given that most of them are PhD students then that would have really interfered with their work so fair enough it's not ideal but obviously their work is more important than seeing us in person when we have the opportunity to do it online. Um, as everyone knows all of our lectures are online which I mean it's fine because like you can pause them and stuff and it certainly does have its its advantages but it's annoying because it's like you're constantly stuck in your room um all of my chemistry practicals were also online so this meant that we would watch a video of someone doing the practical then there'd be a couple of quizzes that we had to complete and you had to get like a certain mark in order to like pass them um then we'd have to write up the experiment um, and then we'd have a one hour meeting with a demonstrator, uh, I think they're all PhD students, mine certainly is, um, in a group of about eight of us um, to go through the practical. Um, that definitely makes it a lot better because without that, if you're struggling, there's not really anywhere you can go. Whereas with that, if you've got a problem like you don't understand something, you can just ask them. Physics have been alternating between online and in person. So we have physics and chemistry practicals every other week, which means every fourth week I have an in-person physics practical and then the other weeks are online. Um, I missed my first in-person physics practical because I was in isolation, which I was very annoyed about, but anyway. Um, which means I've actually only done one in-person physics practical. Um, yeah, I mean, when they're in person, it's basically what you'd expect, except there's, like, barriers up everywhere and, like, screens and everyone's wearing masks and we're all really spaced out. But in terms of the actual practical, like, it's basically what you'd expect. Um, the online ones have varied a bit in format. Uh, some of them are more just kind of, here's what happens during the practical, like, this is what you would do, here's some data do it as if you'd done the practical, like write it up as normal. Some of them were more asking questions about practicals um, and under that like practical techniques and errors and things because it's much about building the basic skills that you need in order to do practicals in future years. Materials um, have usually had some kind of in-person practical every week. So usually what happens is we have some online pre-work. Um, so some stuff to read through then we have a quiz then we go to the practical um usually it's about an hour and then we have to do a write-up which is basically just answering questions about what we did in the practical um a lot of which you get done during the one hour in-person bit um so yeah actually being able to go into a lab usually once a week has been lovely Generally speaking, the content that we've been learning about has been really interesting. Um, so far, I'd definitely say that physics has been my favourite, which is what I went into the degree of wanting to specialise in, so I suppose that's nice. But a lot of people do change their minds, so I did keep a very open mind. But I genuinely have found physics to be my favourite so far. Obviously that could change. Um, yes, there is a lot of content and it does move very fast um i was thinking like okay the stuff that we've covered in this lecture if this was at eight level how many lessons would this have been and it would have been quite a lot like we're talking a couple of weeks and yet we did it in like 45 minutes in a lecture and so just to give you an idea of how fast things move it is speedy <laughs> um there's also quite a big step up between what you do in lectures and then the supervision questions that you get asked. So usually supervision questions are in the back of the lecture handout. So usually everyone does the same questions, although your supervisor might say, do this one, don't do that one. Generally, they're all about the same, like, no matter who your supervisor is. Um, and yeah, the step up can be quite big. Um, which is a bit annoying because you go to lectures and you're like, oh yeah, I understand this, this is great. And then you look at your supervision work and you're like, what? Um, 
yeah, and particularly when we don't really know many people, it's a lot harder to get help. Like, I think if it was a normal year, I'd have a go at my supervision work, and then if I wasn't sure about something, like, say when I'm cycling to lectures, or, like, in between lectures, like, I could ask a friend, but at the moment it's much harder to do that because, like, you know, you don't really see each other, so you can't ask them really in person, so then you'd have to, like, send them a text, and I don't know, I think it's a lot harder if you do have a problem to ask someone, and obviously, like, there's your supervisors that are there to help, but especially when it's, like, a little thing, like, you can so nearly do it, but there's just, like, a little tiny thing that you're missing, and it's, like, if I could show this to a friend, I bet they'd, like, find it in a second, point it out, and I could do it, but then when you don't have that, you've got to go to your supervision to sort it out, and then it takes longer, and, yeah, I just think it would be easier if we were able to see each other more. So how much time do I have? Is there time for other stuff? Um, yes, there is a lot of work. Um, and as a Natsuki, I have lectures six days a week, and realistically, I can't really take a day off. So I don't have lectures on a Sunday, but I have materials and maths work due on Sundays. So I end up spending a reasonable part of Sunday doing my supervision work for them, um, which is very annoying because a lot of other subjects they have a lot more flexibility with things like they don't have so many lectures and they don't have like set lab times and stuff um, and they don't have so many supervisions so it's a bit more flexible so they can take a day off but as an out scheme I mean you probably could do it but it's very difficult um but equally you can't just work all the time like you have to do other things um so I'd like to use societies and like social events like seeing friends to break things up um which I was able to do a tiny bit at the beginning of term um like we might go out for a couple of hours in the evening and then I'd come back and do like another hour of work before bed um I mean obviously that's just me like I don't mind working late into the evening and a lot of people definitely did spend a lot of time in their rooms I try to be quite strict to myself and be like no you need like if you're allowed obviously even you know if you're in isolation you can't but like if you are allowed to get out then you need to get out even if it's like just to like have a walk or to run a little errand um most days I probably have been doing about eight hours of work which is kind of the maximum I'll allow myself to do um, I won't allow myself to do any more than eight hours because I think once you're consistently going past eight hours a day that's when you're starting to get to the point where you yeah you are going to burn out um so yeah I try to stick to maximum of eight hours a day um I think overall it's been about as I expected because the beginning bit was better than I'd expected and the end bit was a bit worse than I'd expected so I think overall they probably about cancelled out um, ninety percent of the problems have definitely been down to COVID. Um, but I mean, my boss said the first year, and more specifically, first term of first year, is the hardest, and that is something that older students have also said. I mean, ultimately, Cambridge is amazing. I absolutely love it as like as a place, as a, like a university to study at. Like, I do genuinely love it, and I do honestly think that Cambridge was the right decision for me. Um, obviously, it's not been perfect, um, and a lot of that has been down to COVID, and hopefully future terms will be better. Um, so, yeah, if you're wondering how my first term has been, because I had so many requests for this video, hopefully that answered your questions. Um, thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.